Welcome to video two for this unit on linear equations, inequalities, and systems. In this video, we're going to focus on solutions to linear equations. An equation in one variable is an equation that contains only one unknown quantity or one quantity that can vary. For example, the equation two times 15 plus two times w equals 72 represents the width of a rectangle that has a length of 15 units and a perimeter of 72 units. This is an equation in one variable, because w is the only quantity we don't know. To solve this equation means to find a value of w that makes the equation true. Let's substitute 21 for w. In this case, 21 is the solution because substituting 21 for w in the equation results in a true statement. An equation in two variables contains two unknown quantities or two quantities that vary. A solution to this type of equation is a pair of numbers that makes the equation true. Suppose we are buying beans and rice to feed a large gathering of people and we plan to spend $120 on the two ingredients. Beans cost $2 a pound and rice costs 50 cents a pound. If X represents pounds of beans and Y represents pounds of rice, the equation 2X plus 0.5Y equals 120 can represent the constraints in this situation. This is an equation in two variables. More than one pair of values for X and Y make the equation true, so it has two quantities that can vary. x equals 10 and y equals 200 is a solution because 2 times 10 plus 0 0.5 times 200 equals 120 is a true statement. If we buy 10 pounds of beans and 200 pounds of rice, the cost will be $120. Like an equation, a graph can give us information about the relationship between quantities and the constraints on them. The graph of 2x plus 0.5y equals 120 shows a straight line. Each point on the line is a pair of x and y values that make the equation true, and is thus a solution. It is also a pair of values that satisfy the constraints in the situation. Notice that the point 10, 200 is on the line. The points 60, 0 and 45, 60 are also on the line. If we buy only beans, 60 pounds of them, and no rice, we will spend $120. If we buy 45 pounds of beans and 60 pounds of rice, we will also spend $120. What about points that are not on the line? They're not solutions because they don't satisfy the constraints, but they still have meaning in the situation. Notice that the point 20, 80 is not on the line. Buying 20 pounds of beans and 80 pounds of rice costs $80, which costs less than what we intend to spend. The pair of values x equals 20 and y equals 80 is not a solution to the equation, because when we substitute the values into the equation, we get an equation which is not true. Equivalent equations have exactly the same solution. Suppose we bought two packs of markers and a 50 cent glue stick for $6.10. Let's use P to represent the dollar cost of one pack of markers. The equation 2P plus 0.5 equals 6.10 represents this purchase. The solution to this equation is 2.80. Now suppose a friend bought six of the same packs of markers and three glue sticks for $1.50 and paid $18.30. The equation 6P plus 1.50 equals 18.30 represents this purchase. The solution to this equation is also 2.80. 2P plus 0 0.5 equals 6.10 and 6P plus 1.50 equals 18.30 are equivalent equations because P equals 2.80 is the only value that makes each equation true. So they have exactly the same solution. 
In this example, multiplying each side of the first equation by 3 results in the second equation, 6p plus 1.50 equals 18.30. Buying three times as many markers and glue sticks means paying three times as much money. The unit price of the markers hasn't changed. Here are some other equations that are equivalent to 2p plus 0.5 equals 6.10, along with the moves that led to these equations. Add 3.50 to each side of the original equation. Subtract 0.50 from each side of the original equation. Multiply each side of the original equation by 1 half. Apply the distributive property to rewrite the left side. Some moves are not acceptable in creating equivalent equations. What if you subtract an amount from one side but add it to the other? For example, if we subtract 0 0.50 from the left side but add 0 0.50 to the right side, the result is 2p equals 6.60. The solution to this equation is 3.30, not 2.80. Since equivalent equations have exactly the same solution, two equations with different solutions are not equivalent. This means that 2p plus 0.5 equals 6.10 is not equivalent to 2p equals 6.60. Thank you for watching video 2 of 7 for this unit on linear equations, inequalities, and systems.